So we've been talking a lot this morning, especially off camera, about all those amazing John Hughes movies mm. that... Uh, Ferris Bueller. What? His run from like 83 to 90 was one of the more impressive runs by any filmmaker. By any director. Ever. I mean, just the, the, the creative output, his writing, mm -hmm. his directing, his producing. And he basically walked span. away. He basically walked away from Hollywood. A lot of speculation about he just couldn't stand working with studios. Yeah. Because somebody's always saying, oh, what about this and what about that? And he's like, this, I do this. I'm good at this. Leave me alone. And the thing about John Hughes movies is that every time they're on TV, who can turn away? How many <laughs> oh, times great. have and you seen Ferris Bueller? First of all, you've Bueller. memorized them. You've right. memorized this Ferris movie. Ferris Bueller, 16 Candles, Breakfast Club, Home Alone. I mean, you just rattle through yeah. them. And every, mm -hmm. Bueller, <laughs> Bueller. <Yeah. laughs> favorite, favorite scenes in, in John Hughes movies? Go, oh, Dave. A Bueller. I mean, and every time I look at Matthew Broderick over here, <laughs> a.k.a. Jeff Glore. I don't see it. Oh, you my God, that? he looks just like him. I, I have heard that you a number that? in the Bueller? past. I, I never got it. I never saw it. But uh, Oh, huh. gosh. It's, a, it's just really... Do you have a favorite scene in a John Hughes movie? Uh, Home Alone. My kids were of an age that that came along, and we watched it on a continuous loop, I think, right. for about six years yeah. straight. Just, just <laughs> so good. How about Breakfast Club? Yeah. So many great moments well, when Ali so Sheedy Korean. goes. Right. Yeah, Remember that go. scene? There you go. Yeah. All right. Awesome. This is iconic. He Look leaves behind a, a wonderful yeah. legacy, that's for sure. And the other thing about it, he grew up in suburban Chicago, uh, first suburban Detroit and then suburban Chicago. He said, I didn't have a tortured childhood. Right. He said, I have nothing to complain about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just like to do this. And Ferris Bueller's Day Off was set in, in his city. How perfect. Yeah, really good. He wrote that he would wrap up one of these. Uh, one of these screenplays at about three in the morning and he just started another one at 302. He just that's how he there that's how go. it worked.